There are several different kinds of maple trees in Ontario. In the North Bay region, we have six, if you count the Manitoba maple, but five that have simple maple leaf shaped leaves. The two most mapley are the sugar maple and the red maple. The sugar maple has smooth sinuses and very few teeth. And the red maple has sharp sinuses and lots of teeth. A teacher once told me, smooth like sugar, sharp red like blood. <laughs> blood red sharp. I don't know if that will help you, but every time I see a sugar maple, I go smooth like sugar. And every time I see a red maple, I go sharp red and it helps me remember to this day. These are the two leaves that typically get the five lobes. So one, two, three, four, five. And you can see it on the red here. One, two, three, four, five. Not always do sugar maples and red maples have five lobes. Sometimes you get one that looks a little sadder and those two bottom lobes are kind of disappearing. But if you look at a lot of leaves, you can usually find a nice big one that has five lobes. If you learn nothing else about tree ID, I want you to learn these ones. We're Canadians. This is the leaves that are on our, on our symbol of Canada. Is a sugar maple or a red maple. They're not called red maples because the leaves turn red. They do, but sometimes they turn yellow. Sometimes the sugar maple leaves turn red. They turn, they're called red maple because typically the pedial, the leaf stalk, is a bright red. But you shouldn't rely on that color. You should rely on the toothiness of the red maple versus the smoothness of the sugar maple. So if you look at your key here, it says sinus is round and sinus is sharply V-pointed. So you can see these round sinuses versus sharply V-pointed sinuses. We also have something called a stripe maple or a moose maple that has round sinuses, but it has lots of tiny little teeth. This is one of Dave Hackett's favorite trees. And we have a bunch of them on the campus trails. I'll make sure to stop and point one out. And then if we look at the V-shaped sinuses, if we have five really narrow lobes, you've got a silver maple. These are common in wetlands and in people's yards because the back of the leaf does have a whiteness to it that makes it look silvery. So people find it quite pretty. It also can grow huge given the opportunity. Three lobes, and this has three distinct broad lobes, but the red maple is in here because sometimes those two bottom ones don't really look as lobey. But you have Manitoba maple versus red maple. I, or not Manitoba, mountain. Mountain maple versus red. I rarely see a mountain maple that have these two little lobes. They, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a mountain maple that has those two little baby lobes. It's always just the three. I will show you this out in the field because I did not find a mountain maple on this particular leaf picking walk, but they have a much softer leaf, a much more textured leaf. The red maple and the sugar maple, red maple, sugar maple have this shiny, thick leaf. The mountain maple is a much softer, more textured leaf, more like the leaf of a speckled alder, textured, and soft and not shiny. So those are the maples that are wild in the forests around North Bay.